and welcome back to another video. So today I have the Thule Art acrylic paint pens. This is the glitter set. And then I also have the glitter Posca paint pens. And today we're gonna compare the two of these. I am going to swatch them out like I've done in my previous videos. I did just do a video on the Thule Art pens, the set with all the basic colors, and I did a comparison with the Posca pens. I also shared a video last week where I compared the pastel Thule Art pens to the pastel Posca pens. And I will link those in the upper right hand corner. But today we're gonna take a look at the glitter sets in both the Thule Art and the Posca. This was probably the video that I was looking most forward to because if you've been watching my channel for quite some time, you know that I absolutely love anything glitter. <laughs> and if you watched my last art supply haul, you probably saw me swatch this set out already and there are some gorgeous colors in here so I'm very excited to compare them to the Thule Art set. If you check the description box down below you will find all the links down there for everything that you see me use in this video. I will also have links down there to my Etsy shop, my Facebook group, and my email list. I also have channel membership if you would like to find more information out about that you can click the join button down below this video. These are a part of the special color series. I believe the other sets included in this series are the confetti and the neon, as well as the pastels. And they do all come in different sizes. This set is the extra fine and medium tip, but it looks like the box looks a little bit different and it actually has a different letter right here. So I'm a little bit confused, but I think that they are both the same because I'm not seeing anything else for the glitter set on Amazon, but it shows you all of the pens here. You do get 24 colors, you get two different tips. So these would be the medium tip. These are the extra fine. And I think that you get 12 of each inside but we're gonna open it up and see and then if you look at the back it does show you how to get the pen started how to prime it how to get it going so that you can color with them or as they say paint with them and then down at the bottom it has the colors that come in the set you are gonna get a gold and it looks like what they're calling a citrine gold but to me that's more like a bronze I would think this one is much more golden and then what they're calling fossil silver so you get a silver a gold and then you get a sparkly black oh my gosh I bet that one looks super cool but you get some really pretty colors you get a red a pink a couple purples, some blues, but it doesn't look like we get any orange here. And for such a small set, we get quite a few blues. And I'm sure the jade green is like a blue green. That would be really cool if we had like an opaly kind of color with glitter in it. I wonder if they have something like that in the metallic set, but I'm really interested in the metallic set as well. I bet those are super pretty. Down here, it has their website. I'm sure you can find lots more information on their website. And a lot of you have asked a lot of questions like how many colors are in this set? Are any of the colors the same? And I'm not finding any colors in these sets that are the same, which is really super cool. And then when I go to their actual page on Amazon, it does say that they have over over 260 colors. So there are a lot of different colors in these markers to choose from. So let's go ahead and open these up. And just like the last set I shared, you do get the extra tips. And so this one comes with the medium tip and the extra fine tip. And then just like all the others, they do have all of the numbers. With this set, you are gonna get the two different sizes. So this one is the medium. And then of course this one has the extra fine tip. So it's a much skinnier pen. And then with any of the Thule Art markers, you do get this little pamphlet. It just shares different information on the series. The special colors consist of a unique variety of colors and finishes that help make your creations that much more spectacular. Whether it be the shine of the metallics, the sparkle of the glitter, the glow of the neons under a UV light. Oh wow, that would be super cool. Or the beautiful light pastels. Oh my gosh, no, I want the neons. It is so neat. And then over here, it shows you how to get the pens going. I've showed you that in the last couple of videos. They are pretty much just like like the Posca pens where you pump them to get them going. And then you can use your phone to scan the little QR code here and you can sign up for their newsletter. Oh, and already I love the barrels of these. Look at the decoration right here on the barrels for the glitter ones. I don't believe that was on the other ones. Here is the regular set and I'm just curious now, so I'm gonna check to see. But yeah, the regular basic set just has a 
black barrel without that decoration on it. And then the glitter ones have this colorful decoration here going along the side. The rest of it does look the same though. So they just say Tuli Art acrylic paint pens. They have the 0 0.7 down here. And as I said in my last video, I think that's what signifies the size of the tip. This is the extra fine marker. It does say glitter here and then special color series. It does tell you in very small, small writing right here to store horizontally. And again, here is my favorite thing about these markers, that clear line so you can see what your ink level is. But look at that glitter ink in there. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? I can't wait to swatch these and see. And then on the other side, it just tells you how to get the pens going. So here's the difference in the size between the medium gold one and the extra fine gold one. And the medium one is just a little bit longer and it does have a much bigger barrel, probably double the size but the barrel does look pretty much the same on the medium one and it just tells you over here that it is the medium size tip. It also tells you over here on the end of the pen, like the other one said 0 0.7, the medium tip is a three millimeter tip. And then they all have the caps that are very easy to take on and off. And this one actually looks like it was used. I definitely did not use these y'all. But it looks like it's already started and has been pumped and primed. I don't know, we'll have to see. That one's not like that. I don't know, maybe I did take out the gold one. I didn't think I did. I might have used it for a video, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out one of the Poscas. Now remember though, the Posca, you're only gonna get eight colors in here. You get a red, two blues, an orange, a pink, a yellow and a purple. So when it comes to the glitter paint pens, the Posca versus the Tuli Art, you can see that with the Posca, you are getting a yellow, which you're not getting in this one. You get a pink in both sets. They look very different from one another. You get a red in both of them. This set, you get an orange. And like I said earlier, you don't get an orange with the Tuli Art. And then you get two blues. The blues look similar. And you get one purple as opposed to this set where you get two purples. And then you get a green in the Posca and also a green in the Tuli Art one. But the Tuli Art green looks a bit darker. So we are gonna swatch them out and see how the colors compare to one another. So as far as pricing, the Tuli Art set is $28.99 on Amazon. It does have a 10% off coupon right now. That's not to say that that will be there later at the time you're seeing this video, but as of right now, in April of 2024, they are $28.99, and it looks like they do stay at that price. As far as the Poscas, I did get these on Blick Art Supply, and I paid $18.54. There is a set available on Amazon, but it is not the same set as these. I believe it is the Japanese version of this set, and they are $21, but they only come with seven colors instead of the eight colors. So if you were interested in the Posca pens, it's probably a better idea to get them at Blick Art Supplies, and I'll have that link down in the description box below. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and swatch these, but I did wanna show you the difference in the tip on both of these. So the medium tip is quite a bit larger than the extra fine tip, and normally I don't use the much bigger tips in my coloring books a whole lot. I generally go with the extra fine tip, but if you're purchasing this set, you are gonna get both of them. Okay, so before we get swatching, I was gonna show you the difference in how the different tips, the extra fine versus the medium, lay down onto the paper. As you can see, those are gonna lay down in a much finer line. And then we have this one. And wow, that one really piles the color on. But if you wanna get a whole lot of color down there, you're really gonna enjoy the medium tip. If you wanna do more fine details, you're probably gonna enjoy the extra fine tip. A lot of us are actually using these in our coloring books. So if you just wanna do some fine details, I would go with the extra fine tip. And then if you wanna cover a whole lot more area, I would go with the medium tip. Okay, so I pulled the red one from the Posca. And I think a lot of us are familiar with the Poscas, but this is what the barrel looks like. They do have the solid black barrel as well and look at all the glitter on the barrel that is so pretty I never even noticed that until I looked up this close and started filming this video <laughs> but it does tell you they are 0 0.9 to 1.3 millimeters as far as the tip goes and then that is what the size of the tip looks like and then here it is compared to the Tuli Art pens this is the Posca right here but it looks like the Posca is a little bit bigger than the extra fine tip on the Tuli Art and then of course you've got the real big huge medium tip on the Tuli Art pen but you can also get a Posca pen in that size as well but I think the only one I use in that size in the Posca
Tosca's is my white pen. And when I order the whites, I order them in all the sizes because I use those for a whole lot of things. And I do wanna mention the caps on these pens. I don't know if you can see that, but they're super pretty. This is the Posca, and the Posca is all glittery. Really, really pretty. And then it looks like with the Thule Art pens, they are the same. They're not as glittery, but these caps do have like a glitter glow to them. They're super pretty. And then I just wanted to show you how the Posca lays down compared to these other two. Of course, this is a different color. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. I think even the fine tip on the Posca does not lay down as fine as the Thule Art one did. This one is somewhere in between these two, kind of right in the middle. I think for this video, I'm actually gonna use the medium ones to swatch the colors out. So since I already have the reds going, I'm gonna go ahead and lay that one down here. But gosh, that's a gorgeous color. That one is called Ruby Red. Okay, so I'm gonna take a break from swatching. Now I'm gonna take a break here just for a second because I noticed when I was pumping these pens to get them going that there is a pretty big difference between the fine tip and the medium tip. So I'm gonna start with the blues. And when you're using these, you are gonna shake them first. And I would suggest when you shake them, leave the tip on them and then shake them downward so that the ink can flow towards the top. And that did not get it going yet, but we are going to pump this. And already after just a few pumps, you can already see the color. Oh gosh, that color is beautiful. So that's how long it took to get that one going. I wanted to show you with the medium tips, something very interesting that I noticed before I even start pumping it or shaking it or trying to do anything with it. I wanted to show you this. When you push down, I'll use my finger to do this. You can see that the tip doesn't go all the way to the inside of the pen, which I thought was pretty interesting. I know the Posca are not like that, but I'm gonna put the top back on and we're gonna shake it. And then just after shaking it, you can see some of the ink on there. There's actually quite a bit of it on the tip. And then I am going to pump And the ink is already coming out. Very pretty. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back to swatching. We have a really pretty shade of pink. It's kind of like a mauve pink. Then we have a purple. Oh, I love the glitter. Then we have amethyst, another really pretty shade of a pinky purple. Lots of glitter in that one, super pretty. And this is number four. And if you noticed, all of these have a GL in front of them. And of course that most likely stands for glitter. Then we have number five, which is a really pretty blue. Oh my gosh, that's one of my favorite colors. This one is called lapis blue. This one is topaz blue. Those are kind of similar. Now we have a green, looks like a leaf green. Super pretty. It's called quartz green. Number eight is a jade green. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. And these, like the other Thule Art pens, are a little bit more opaque. When I swatched out the pastels, there was a little bit of differences in how opaque they were one compared to the other. You'll have to go back and watch that video to see what I mean. But depending on the color and how dark it was, some of them were more opaque than others. So this one is called Golden Spark. This is the more gold the more goldy gold. <laughs> this one is the silver, this is number 10. And I will say that with the medium tip ones, with a lot of them, it is taking me a lot longer to get them primed and going. This one definitely took me quite a while. And I did just notice that I skipped 10. So this is 10. That's the one that I said is gonna look much more bronze, which it does. <laughs> but they're calling this citrine gold. And then we have our sparkly black, and that is number 12. So I'll hold it up closer and you can see all the beautiful glittery colors you get. And I'll try to turn them so that you can see the glitter. Oh, you can see it now. Let's turn it this way till the light hits it. But yeah, they are pretty glittery. We're gonna go ahead and swatch out the Posca right here. So let's start with the yellow one. Oh, these are much brighter. So it looks like these are much brighter and these are gonna be more muted colors. But that is the yellow Posca. And then we have a pink. Oh wow, that's like a glittery neon, so pretty. Then we have an orange, and like I said, we don't get an orange in the Thule Art set, so if you were to get both sets, you would have two different colors. Then we have a red, and we saw the red a little bit earlier, but that is so pretty. Look how bright these are. And then we have a purple. Oh, gorgeous. 
We have a blue. And the way that they lay down on the paper, I feel like they're very similar. You get another blue, and then we have a green. Let me hold this a little bit closer so you could see the Posca, and I'll turn them just like I did the others so you can compare the glitter in both of them. I think I may be seeing more glitter in the Tuli Art set, but if you were to get both sets, the Posca and the Tuli Art set, you would have all different colors. With the Posca set, you're gonna get some colors that are much brighter, and then with the Tuli Art set, you're gonna get some colors that are much more muted. I definitely don't think you'll be able to find a sparkly black in the Posca pens like you have here in the Tuli Art pens. That's a really neat color. But if you're interested in the Poscas and you wanted to have a gold and silver and you wanted to have all the glittery colors, you would have to purchase the glitter set as well as the metallic set because the metallic set is the one that comes with both the gold marker and the silver marker as well as quite a few other colors. And with the Tuliar set, remember you're getting the medium tip and the fine tip in the one set and you're getting 12 of each for a total of 24. I hope you all enjoyed this comparison video as well as the other ones that I did. If you would like to see a full in-depth video of the Tuli Art pens comparing them to the Posca pens and not just the colors, I would go check out my first video. I'll link that one in the upper right hand corner. I hope this video was helpful. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Happy coloring. Bye.